Hi, I'm Debbie Corey. I'm the owner of The Cook's Nook. We're located at 91st in Yale, next to the new Whole Foods Center. And you're watching Explore Tulsa. All right, you did it. Put the lights on the house, trim the Christmas tree, and now you deserve to kick back and enjoy another Explore Tulsa. And this time, we start the show with brilliant color. Then everyone loves tacos. Followed by rioting in style. Plus catching the Christmas tree. Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. We appreciate you stopping by for this week's Explore Tulsa. Trish, now you've spent a lot of time this year working on your house, right? Yeah, I just had my bathroom remodeled, and now I have a little painting I'd like to do. Did you know that 2,000 years ago, the Egyptians used six colors to paint and design their walls? Really? Yep, they had white, red, yellow, green, black, and blue all created by mixing oil or fat with lead, earth, animal blood, ground glass, or semi-precious stone. I think I'll skip on the animal blood and just visit Travis and his staff at Spectrum Paint. I was going to Oklahoma State University and uh, I, I met my wife, we got, you know, my future wife, we got married and uh, she's a, she was a nurse and, uh, but she got pregnant shortly thereafter and I ended up going to work for some friends, but they uh, had a failed business in the paint uh, and coatings uh, segment and uh, so I got a little bit of a taste of it there for a few months and, and, and as they were going out of business my dad uh, you know came to me and said hey you know how about if I invest and put some money you know towards this venture and we start a paint company so in 1986 you know in February we, we started Spectrum Paint. The good thing about it is I was very naive, and, and what's funny is for the older uh, people out there in, in the area, they'll know that 1986 was probably the worst, one of the worst years in the state of Oklahoma as far as the economy. And uh, so I had to work hard to survive, and I, I think that created good habits. But yeah, I was very naive. I was naive about business, and uh, I was very naive uh, uh, about the paint business. It's funny because, you know, like I said earlier, the, the economy was bad. And, and what I, I noticed with our competitors was that they were just, most of them sitting back and feeling sorry for themselves. And really, what I, I noticed this industry is nobody was really working hard and really making an effort to take care of customers, uh, make deliveries, go out and make sales calls, visit the, the, the contractors. And, and so a little, little bit of effort went a long way. And service was, was really one thing that we, uh, strive for to be better than anybody and, and back then it was easy because like I said they weren't they really weren't uh, performing like they should they were just kind of feeling sorry for themselves and with the economy. In our business and especially when you're a small business competing most, most of our competitors are large uh, company owned stores and so we knew we had to get bigger uh, to buy better and to be more competitive and to, to make better margins, you know, so that we were profitable. So, uh, you know, from the very beginning, I, I knew we wanted to grow. I didn't have a number in sight. Uh, you know, everybody said you got to have, you know, one year goal, a five year goal, and a 10 year goal. I, I generally have a one year goal. I know what I'm going to do the next year, but uh, we really just look for opportunities and opportunities have always uh, seemed to come our way. This store that we're in, you know, uh, was opened around five years ago uh, and it was our 16th store and uh, and now we're at 52 so most of the growth has really come in the last several years. Well we're, we're very proud of what we have and, and, and what we built and, and really proud of the employees. Uh, I mean right now and that's really one of the biggest reasons we continue to grow. I mean, I'm satisfied with how large we come. We, we can purchase as well as anybody. Uh, we're members of you know one of the largest buying groups in the United States as far as being able to purchase products in large quantities and pass along those savings to our customers. But we grow now because our customers, our employees, you know, they're looking for opportunities. They're looking to grow. And and if you're a stagnant company and you're not growing, then you know your employees have nowhere to go. I tell people all the time, really, uh, I, you know, I work with my family and my friends because most of the people I socialize with uh, and, and my family are, are, you know, are in the business. 
What a great story. Travis started his business right here in Tulsa and has grown into over 50 stores. That's really amazing. It sure is. And to find a store near you, visit SpectrumPaint.com. I tell you what, just thinking about doing paint work has made me hungry. I can see how all that thinking can work up an appetite for you, Stevie. Yeah, you know, we ought to make a quick stop by Z's Taco Shop. I hear they added some soups to their menu for the cooler temps. Then we'll head downtown for Z's Famous Tacos. Next, when we come back with more Explore Tulsa. Ever since the first movie theaters opened in the early 1900s, man has been trying everything to bring that same experience home to enjoy with their families. And for more than 30 years, Video Revolution and their home entertainment experts have been making those dreams come true by designing custom home theater solutions for both in and outdoor use. From 1080p LEDs to the brand new Sony 4K flat panel TVs, or come in to see the latest in sound bars and surround sound setups, Always the top name brands are found at Video Revolution. That same electronic expertise we also apply to your business communications network. From boardroom automation to video wall presentations. No matter what technology the future holds, you can count on Video Revolution to be leading the way. Tulsa's headquarters for the best selection and installation of cutting edge electronics. Video Revolution on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Hey, it's Stevie from Explore Tulsa with my friend and optometrist for many years, Dr. Robert Zellner. Tell everybody why it's so good to come in to see you. <laughs> well, that's a great question. Let's see, we've got two great locations. We try to stay cutting edge at every point along the way because let's face it, everybody wants to come in and get taken care of in a timely fashion and get the latest, greatest stuff and save some money and get on with their life. And, and, see, and see clearly. And if you don't believe it, look on the website. Absolutely, drzellner.com. You can find that we have our two locations at 69th and Memorial and 30, 3030 South Harvard, or you can give us a call at 749-2020 or 461-2020. And I got four kids, and I gotta tell you, as a big family like that, it's affordable too. Oh yes, and of course, the number one reason, you save some money. I mean, with our two pair specials, with our uh, different unique packages that we put together, I mean, you can come in here and your money can go a lot farther than anywhere else. And that's why with Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates, Seeing is believing. Oh, I like that, yeah. Stevie. Well done. <laughs> Hi, this is Christopher Westfall, a professional fine art painter in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and you're watching Explore Tulsa. Hello, and thanks for sticking around for more Explore Tulsa. Stevie, you still hungry? Oh, you better believe it. I think some good old-fashioned tacos would go pretty good right now. You know, Stevie, the origins of the taco are really unknown, but the first use of the word taco came in the 18th century from the silver mines in Mexico. Yep, miners would take pieces of paper, wrap it around gunpowder, then insert it into holes carved in the rock to break out the silver. Makes sense, because I've certainly had my share of spicy tacos explode in my mouth. <laughs> But if you want the perfect taco de monero, then you'll have to stop by at Z's Taco Shop at 3rd and Archer. One night, me and my, uh, my girlfriend were just, you know, kind of hanging out and we were talking about uh, possibly opening up a uh, taco truck and uh, we went to the baseball game and um, we met the owners of the building and they started talking to us about the location here, you know, getting closed down and um, it just kind of, you know, one thing led to another and uh, it went from a taco truck to, uh, you know, opening, going ahead and doing a full-fledged full, uh, uh, restaurant. Oh, she's the boss. Everybody knows that. <laughs> uh, she's definitely the boss, you know. Uh, she is a, uh, she's a very, very intelligent girl. You know, when we started this, uh, you know, she's definitely the, the, the person that took the first step and, and started taking, you know, the leader role in this. And uh, But, you know, my side of the, the business is the social to keep us, you know, try to get us known and, and doing everything I can to, you know, get people to know about us. And she runs the place every day. You know, she's here from 7 a.m. sometimes to 10 p.m. at night. And uh, with me having another business, uh, it's kind of hard for me to be here all the time. So I'm, I, I get here in the afternoon and she heads out sometimes. And, but she's, she's definitely the boss. <laughs> Our recipes, um, they came from, some of them came from my mom and my uh, family, and a lot of them came from her mom and her family. You know, uh, her family is from Durango, Mexico, and my family is from uh, Chihuahua, Mexico. So, um, so we got a little bit of both, and we kind of incorporated them, and also, uh, you know, we've kind of made some of the new things up ourselves, and 
and just kind of running, kind of running with it. And I've always, you know, loved uh, mixing and matching foods and and doing different things. And uh, I also, you know, I lived in California before, and uh, I just loved all the the fusion style foods. So. I'd say the most popular items um, is our chorizo. Our chorizo uh, sells like crazy. You know, we make our own chorizo here in house. Um, but one of the uh, the main one of the things that sells the most would be our chorizo taco zoo style. And what that is, you know, you get four tacos, chorizo on it, and then we put our house salsa on top uh, with guacamole on it. And that price sells the most than any other thing and then we have on the menu. And we also just incorporated a, a chorizo burger. So uh, I don't think anybody in town has a chorizo burger, so it definitely comes right out. You know, some of the stuff that I have in here is from a, a local artist, you know, his name's Aaron Wisner, and uh, he's been hooking us up with some real cool art, and uh, he's also, you know, helping us uh, decorate some future stuff that we're gonna be putting in here. Uh, but I just wanted to, you know, wanted to have a real urban feel, and you know, I wanted, you know, wanted people to feel like they came in here, and it was, uh, you know, we don't want nothing too fancy, but we don't want you to feel like you're, you know, you're eating out of a food truck either. So we kind of, we wanted it, you know, the the urban feel definitely. So. I've lived in Tulsa for. 10 years, almost 10 years now. You know, I, I grew up in Bartlesville, small town. Uh, when I moved to Tulsa, the downtown area was definitely not the place to be, you know. Uh, I came out here a couple times, you know, when they had Mayfest and a couple little other festivities. But uh, now Tulsa's growing and it's like nonstop and it's only getting bigger, you know. Uh, there's a lot more, you know, uh, housing down here, a lot more businesses that are down this area. It's kind of been uh, you know, born again, and you know, I definitely thought that out of all the places in Tulsa, this is the most uh, has the most potential to open a restaurant. So uh, that's why we decided to go ahead and do it here. Oh my gosh, I love their breakfast burrito. You know, Trish, it's not just for breakfast anymore. For your taco or burrito fix, visit Z's Taco Shop and Market at Third and Archer. Open every day but Monday and late night on Friday and Saturday. That sounds like a great idea. Burrito run, then go check out some Christmas lights around T-Town. And you should do that in style by letting Galaxy Limo do all the driving. You're so smart, Trish. We'll go see Jim Nicolotti of Galaxy Limos next on Explore Tulsa. Hello friends, I'm out in the woods today hunting for those very desirable and elusive Silverados. Wow, look at that one. Did you see the rack on that one? Look at that little beauty there. You know, at Danny Beck Chevrolet, our hunting grounds are also our proving grounds. We're out to prove to you we have the best prices in the state. Remember, go back for more. At Video Revolution, our home entertainment experts have been designing custom home theater solutions for both in and outdoor use for over 30 years. From flat panel LED TVs to 4K projector systems, the top name brands are here at Video Revolution. That same electronic expertise we also apply to our business communications network. From boardroom automation to video wall presentations. Video Revolution, Tulsa's headquarters for the best selection and installation of cutting edge technology. Hi, we're the ladies of Hard Knocks Tulsa. And you're watching Explore Tulsa. You better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why. Why don't you quit singing and just tell us already? Well, if you're gonna be a fun sucker, I thought it would be fun for our Explore Tulsa guests to jump in a limo with us and Jim Nicolotti of Galaxy Limos. When we first started, I did drive quite a bit by myself. Uh, the stories that you hear from limo drivers are all true. Uh, you know, the, a lot of unique things happen in the back of a limousine. Yeah. About uh, 20 years ago, I was in the real estate business, uh, running a real estate company for Oral Roberts. Uh, it uh, got uh, to where he didn't want to expand real estate anymore. So I left there and got a job with uh, another limousine company and uh, worked for them for a couple of years. 
and uh, he uh, kind of left town in the middle of the night, uh, found out he hadn't paid sales tax and some other things. And so my daughter worked there going to school as a dispatcher. So she said, hey, why don't we start our own limo company? So we started Galaxy 18 years ago. We started with just one single town car, Lincoln Town Car, uh, and have grown to the size we are now. We do transportation for 212 limo companies from across the country. The top 20 companies in the world, such as Cary, Boston Coach, uh, we do all their corporate transportation in Tulsa. Their execs will fly in for a meeting, we'll pick them up at the airport, uh, take them to the meeting, sit there, wait on them, take them to lunch, take them back to the airport, so on and so forth. Saves them a lot of trouble from renting a car, driving to where they're trying to find to go, find them parking place, and then having to turn the car in when they come back. This way they can just get in the town car, talk to their office on their cell phone on the way, do business, and we drop them right at the front door and we're there when they come out. We've had uh, a lot of our uh, people like uh, the executive type people like we've had Margaret Thatcher, the, the uh, Prime Minister of Great Britain, we've had Dan Rather, we've had General Tommy Franks, Colin Powell, of course all the regular people, the stars, we've uh, done a lot of stuff for Garth, we did the wedding at his house, uh, we've done uh, Reba McIntyre, uh, you know, pretty much every star that comes to Tulsa we handle uh, and do. Everybody that comes to the BOK and everybody that comes to the PAC, that type of thing. Probably the funniest one was uh, I was driving probably three or four years after we started the business and I had a group of girls, eight girls, celebrating a 21st birthday. And they had been out since seven o'clock and it was two in the morning and the bars are closed. And I said, are we gonna go home? And they says, uh, no, just drive around for a while. We wanna to listen to music. So we happened to be downtown at 15th of Boston. So I just drove over to Riverside and I'm driving 10, 15 mile an hour down Riverside. Right after I got on Riverside, a cop pulled out along River Parks and followed me. Followed me all the way down to the casino and turned on his lights and pulled me over. And I said, what's the problem, officer? I says, you know, I know it wasn't speeding. He says, do you know you have three naked women staying at your moon roof? I said, no, but I noticed you followed me for about 10 or 12 miles. He said, I had to make sure. <laughs> yeah, so you get some unique circumstances. It's, it's fun to see the business grow and uh, eventually I'll turn the whole thing over to my daughter and uh, uh, retire. At, uh, I lost my wife of 48 years about uh, six months ago and so it uh, uh, a little bit tough there but uh, uh, getting over that and uh, trying to keep busy with the company and we do a lot of voluntary work uh, so I keep active at church, active with the company. We're a member of the Tulsa Chamber, the Bixby Chamber, the Broken Arrow Chamber, the Jinx Chamber, the Sepulpa Chamber, <laughs> you know, so go to a lot of luncheons, meet a lot of people. Oh, that's the way to do it, Trish. Get the whole family together, check out the Christmas lights in Tulsa in a Galaxy Limo. And there are a lot of beautiful lights in Tulsa. To book your holiday light tour, visit galaxylimotulsa.com. I wonder if the Christmas train is as smooth a ride as a Galaxy Limo. Oh, there's only one way to find out, CB, and that's to jump on board and head out to Dry Gulch when we continue with more Explore Tulsa. Hi, Dr. Robert Zellner here. For over 20 years, I've offered affordable, convenient eye care in Tulsa. Right now, you can get one pair of glasses or contact lenses starting at just $99 or my two-pair deal for $129. Hey, and as always, the eye exam's included. Walk-ins are always welcome. Glasses are ready in about an hour. Plus, we have over 2,000 claims to choose from. We're open seven days a week. Come see why we're voted Tulsa Best. And our drive to at 69th and Memorial makes pickup simple and easy. For the best eye care value in Tulsa, Dr. Robert Zellner & Associates. 
at Video Revolution. We've got today's 3D technology. Smart TVs. And I can help you pick the one that's a larger size TV. We handle it all here at Video Revolution. Now people can get a 90-inch TV. Oakley owned and operated. Now coming up on a 30-year anniversary. Customer service is our priority. We have our own service center. It just brings back enjoyment to watching TV. And now it's affordable for everybody. And we sell fun stuff. It's like toys for big kids. The customers that come into Video Revolution are blown away. Oh boy! As we'll be leaving the station shortly on the Christmas train with Explore Tulsa. Every year, Church on the Move hosts 50,000 guests when Dry Gulch turns into a magical Christmas village. And those tickets go fast, so we thought we'd take you behind the scenes and offer you a little sneak peek. Dry Gulch is a very unique place. It's actually started back in 1986 when Pastor Willie George acquired the property and began building a youth camp uh, for young children. Later went on and used it as a movie set uh, for some of his full feature uh, movies as well as his uh, national children's ministry television show, The Gospel Bill Show. Dry Gulch has certainly expanded from its earlier uh, small beginnings. At first it was to reach children, um, and it, it, we have never stopped building since those earlier days. And what it has become right now has superseded, I think, even Pastor George's uh, beginning visions way back then. We now have guests from all over the country who come here uh, for summer camp and certainly for Christmas Train. It, it really is so much bigger than even just our local church congregation. Well, the Western theme certainly fits here in Oklahoma. Pastor George is quite a historian. He was uh, raised in Texas and uh, is a cowboy at heart. His father was a, uh, a, a rodeo guy. So the Western theme was something that really flowed out of him, out of his past, out of his experience. And it also creates just a wonderful theme uh, for all of our guests, something very, very unique and uh, gives it a lot of character. Well, summer camp is really where we are using Dry Gulch at its fullest, every part of the facilities and the grounds. It's a wonderful experience. We'll have over 4,500 kids uh, that will be here in, in the summer uh, for what we hope is one of, a, one of the best experiences of their childhood. Again, we will hire additional high school and college age students to be a part of our summer staff. And it is a tremendous experience, not only for uh, the kids who get to come, but for all of the adult sponsors who will come along with them from their, from their various churches. Everyone has a story who experiences Dry Gulch. And some of them are, are very heartwarming. We have a lot of people who will be bringing kids who come from some pretty tough home lives, who have never really experienced the stability of a, of a great home. When we ask kids and ask their sponsors what did they like best about summer camp when they leave, we're generally thinking that they are gonna talk about the water park, the go-karts, the horse rides, and they love all those things. But the number one response to that question are the chapel experiences. We have so much fun there learning about uh, the Bible and what God's principles mean in children's lives, how it can impact their lives. That's the thing that really sticks. I think the first thing that people experience when they come to Dry Gulch, especially during Christmas train, is, if it is their first time, is amazement. As they're driving out here, um, really there's nothing else on the way, and all of a sudden this 
diamond in the rough just pops up out of nowhere. It's lit up, it's decorated, uh, it's filled with hundreds of volunteers, many of them in costume, and it's just a wonderful uh, experience to celebrate Christmas with their families. Well, I tell you, ma'am, can't help but feel a little holiday ponderosa when going out to Christmas Village. Tickets to this year's Christmas train sold out in just 10 hours, but there are plenty of great summer camps to keep in mind for the kids to enjoy. Just visit drygulchusa.com to learn more. Now I might mosey on over to the Craigslist and see if I can acquire a ticket or two for me and the missus. Oh, brother, stick around. There's more Explore Tools than just ahead. Hi, I'm Devin Dorney, and I'm here to tell you about the brand new Canon 70D. Well, one of the great things about the Canon 70D is that in this generation, you actually have autofocus during video recording. Uh, that was one of the things that held back some of the original SLRs that did video. It's very difficult to do a home video or something like that when you had to pay attention to a manual focus. Now, you have touch screen controls and facial recognition that help you get the most out of your home video. It's an SLR, so it does both pictures and video. It takes 20.2 uh, megapixel stills and wonderful video. This is a camera that everybody can be efficient with. It can be used for birthday parties on up to professional video products and, and uh, professional photography products. Well, DSLRs offer you the opportunity to change your lenses and get different depths of field and different effects in your photography. And it gives you one an opportunity to take some of those really gorgeous photos that you see wedding photographers and baby photographers taking. And you can do that with an inexpensive lens. It's uh, really easy to do and it makes everybody feel like a pro. The camera itself shoots broadcast quality HD video to a convenient SD card which you can take out of the camera uh, and plug right into your computer, pull the video off and, and start editing. In fact, this camera does so much that there's really not enough time for me to tell you everything it can do. So why don't you come and visit me, I'm Devin Dorney, come and visit at Video Revolution and we can sit down and talk about the camera and I can show you exactly how you can take great home videos and still photos on your own. Be sure and join us next week when we head out to R.L. Jones Jr. Airport for the unveiling of the Phenom 300 private jet and a look at the newest Maseratis with Jackie Cooper and Solaris Complete Aviation. We want to thank the folks at Z's Taco Shop and Market for providing Tulsa with some amazing tacos and breakfast burritos. Thanks too to Travis for sharing his story with us on how he grew Spectrum Paint into what it is today and to Jim Nicolotti of Galaxy Limos for taking us around in style. Plus thanks to Kirby Anderson for a sneak peek at the Christmas train at Dry Gulch. Remember, if you miss any of the show, you can always catch us at ExploreTulsa.com. As always, each week we feature the people, places, and attractions that make us proud to call Tulsa our home. Hey, don't forget to like us on Facebook. Share with us someone you think Tulsa should know more about. Plus, remember, Explore Tulsa is brought to you by Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st Lewis. Stop by, say hello to Ron and all the guys for your home entertainment needs. And Explore Tulsa is also proudly brought to you by Dr. Robert Zollner and Associates. Home of the two pair for 120 $29 deal with two locations, 3030 South Harvard and 69th and Memorial. Well, that's all the time we have for you on this week's show, but we'll see you next week right here on Explore Tulsa.